One of those legends clean out the door, but the bottom line on the new look Cowboys will not be tallied until the new folks prove if they can win. Chris Meyer spent some time at Dallas camp. The Cowboys' new wave has arrived. Those wearing the Lone Star helmets sport a different look these days. America's team has become Jimmy's and Jerry's team. At the team's training site in Thousand Oaks, California, the scenery and the uniforms remain the same. But just about everything else has changed. Longtime players Danny White and Randy White were out with the old. In with the new, rookie quarterback Steve Walsh and Troy Aikman. After talking to a few of the players, they said that um, things are much more upbeat here than what they have been in, in for several years, and the guys are excited about playing. Uh, no one has talked about last year's record of 3-13. and 13. In the last three years at Miami, Jimmy Johnson lost just twice, but the NFL rookie head coach still battles acceptance from Landry supporters. Johnson is back with a 10-year contract from his friend and former college roommate, owner Jerry Jones. I think our fans realize that uh, times change. Uh, they don't see Roger Staubach out there anymore, and so uh, Jimmy's going to have his time to do his thing. Tom Landry had 20 straight winning seasons and five trips to the Super Bowl, yet some players said his laid-back coaching style became outdated. Johnson is making sure his squad is up to date with shorter but more intense practices. Are you part of this group? Asthma, my ass. Get over there on that other field and have some asthma. You just got to be yourself. You've got to coach the way you know how to coach and what's been successful for you. And, and that's how we've tried to approach it. And I think the players have accepted that and they're responding to it. Coach Landry was a type that uh, he would wait and review the film, then go over with you before he would uh, speak out. But Coach Johnson is there on top of everything. And uh, the minute he detects something, he lets you know about that. Some people may criticize it that it's too much uh, like a college enthusiasm. but. But that's the way Coach Johnson is. You know, he's very excited. He, he you know, his life is football, and, and especially winning football. Walsh and Aikman will have to wait for the team's final preseason game to find out who will be the starting quarterback. Walsh is cocky and confident and hangs out with the rookies. Aikman is better physically and sticks with the veterans. But whomever wins the job, he'll be running an attack offense that will push the ball upfield with diversity. It's really a combination of, of uh, the University of Miami, the Miami Dolphins, the San Diego Chargers, and the Washington Redskins. You know, we've got coaches from all over that, that have put in the best of the best. On defense, Johnson is putting a renewed emphasis on forcing turnovers, using an all-out rush on opposing quarterbacks. It reflects his history, and uh, that's right, this is a more attacking uh, get after them type uh, defense and it's something that the guys around here have looked forward to for, for many years. At times it seems Jimmy Johnson is having more fun than the law allows in the pro game. His players see it as part of his game plan to revive a franchise that's been down too long. It's something I, I think we definitely need. You know, because um, you know, being at the bottom of the pile, the only thing we were number one in was draft choice. You know, we, we've been through purgatory. So um, coming together, being a tight-knit group, when we get to heaven, it's going to make it that much sweeter. Whatever the Brain Trust was looking for in their rebuilding program, it appears they found it. Although the Cowboys' future is in the hands of rookies, they are veterans of success who give the impression they can win right away. From Thousand Oaks, California, Chris Myers, ESPN.